for a normal distribution with mean 50 and standard deviation 15 find out Q1 and Q3 now first of all some of the properties one is in normal distribution mean equals to mod equals to median that means mean if mean is 50 that means median or Q2 is also 50 yes and standard deviation is 15 and recently we proved that standard deviation or rather two thirds standard deviation equals to quartile deviation so quartile deviation equals to two thirds standard deviation that means Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2 equals to 2 by 3 into 50. Therefore, Q3 minus Q1 equals to 2 into 5, 10 into 2, 20. This can be our equation number 1. This was the easier part. Now another property of normal distribution is the quartiles are equidistant. That means the difference between Q2 and Q1 and Q3 and Q2 are same. That means we can say that Q2 minus Q1 equals to Q3 minus Q2. That means 50 minus Q1 equals to Q3 minus 50. So say 50 plus 50 equals to Q3 plus Q1 therefore Q3 plus Q1 equals to 100 this is our equation 2 if we solve these two equations we can have the values of Q1 as well as Q3 from second equation we are going to subtract the first one Yes, cancellation. Oh, sorry, we are going to add the first one. 2Q3 equals to 120. So, Q3 equals to 60. Now, substitute Q3 equals to 60 in any of the two equations. That will give us the value of Q1. Say, Q3 plus Q1 equals to 100. That means 60 plus Q1 equals to 100. So Q1 equals to 100 minus 60 or this is possible only if Q1 equals to 